Welcome back to the Purple Swordfish Show. I am Alex, a.k.a. Purple Swordfish. <clears throat> I don't know what that was, but hey, we're back with another ba rebuild, of course. It is the Buccaneers. If you didn't know who that actually was, that was Alex, PurpleSwordfishShow.com, which is YouTube and stuff. Um, check out his channel. If you're actually into the Buccaneers, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, today he's going to be uploading his Buccaneers franchise. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me. But if it is, you're welcome. Check his channel out. It's in the description. Um, this is his favorite team, so I, you know, I decided to get a little, uh, little fresh. This is his team, by the way, on the screen. A little worse than I thought, so we're going to change things up. We're going with Paradis early on. You see the trades. It's going kind of quick, though. I don't know if I can keep up. Lel Collins, when I edited this, it wasn't going that fast. Second round for Devontae Adams. This is a voiceover for now. Uh, about the nine-minute mark is where it goes live. You can see, oh, here's a prediction. Jalen Ramsey gets traded to us. Donovan Smith, a first round this year and a second round next year, I believe. And here we pretty much just trade next year picks and a backup corner for a second round this year to end up getting this Josh Norman trade. It's funny as these, it's going by so quick, but it took me a long time to actually pull these off. Second round this year for all that crap to try to get the one and only Khalil Mack. So uh, Vincent Jackson, a tight end, actually upgrades quite a bit, as you may know. That's how we got that trade here. Pretty easy for Danny Shelton. Kind of a beast. Once again, I don't know why it's going so quick. Really tough trade here to get Trent Williams, a guy we never get. But he's a 97 overall left tackle. And he's not really that old, to be honest. Bunch of backup left ends for a first round this year. And basically the end of the trades for Tahir Whitehead as a backup left. Uh, no, yes, actually a starting left outside linebacker for us, I believe. This is the final squad going into the first season, at least. Uh, the offensive firepower looks all right. The tight end position's a little iffy, though. Cornerbacks are looking good. Safeties are all right. Linebackers are, yeah, yeah. And then the D-line, yeah, all right, okay, fair enough. Um, not the greatest year one we've ever went into, but, hey, at the end of the day, it's all about the record. So, of course, we're looking for any rookies that might be in the news as their almost guaranteed superstar development trade, I believe, which sadly, there is none. But here we have re-signings, and they're very expensive. I'm not willing to pay this kind of money. Cameron Braid has quick development trade? Interesting. Um, I'm not really willing to pay this kind of money for these guys. Um, so really, they're pretty much all going to go to free agency as of right now, to my knowledge. Uh, obviously, things change, but here... We do make the playoffs at 10-6. and six. We are away against the Falcons. Not a great team to have to go against. Uh, we're not seeing any upgrades. It appears, at least. I don't see anything. Uh, maybe we won some awards. I don't know. Um, overall, we had a decent season. Not the best in the division, but hey, good enough to make the playoffs. Tough spot to uh, be in. Here, of course, we're going to show you that we didn't cheat. Two wins and a lo double loss. Um, going really quick. I can't see any of this. Stupid editing me from the past, you dumb, dumb, diddly doo da. And uh, let's take a look at the stats now. See what Jameis did. Over 4,000 yards. Not bad. 14 picks, 30 touchdowns. Not the worst I've ever seen. Doug Martin fumbled quite a bit more than I would have liked him to. He had a decent season, though. Yards per carry wasn't super high. Um, the touchdowns overall, very low, though, for my liking. Offensive line played pretty good considering. Um, and, of course, not a crazy amount of sacks that you would expect. But we did get a decent amount of picks. Vernon Hargraves got a couple of picks. So did Jalen Ramsey. Overall, not the worst. Aguayo, however, not the greatest. Missing six field goals out of 23 isn't great. Um, no kick returns or punt returns, I believe. Offensive rank is not great at all. And then defensive rank, not great at all either. So here we go to the awards. Tony Romo with MVP. That's interesting. Jason Garrett, Coach of the Year. You got the Player of the Year for Aaron Rodgers. Looking for any awards we might have. And we're just not even close on any of the lists, really, except for that one, which is huge. That's how you can tell uh, in leagues when a guy like uh, Marcus Peters or Jalen Ramsey will go up because, you know, those awards early on, really key, which is why the Cowboys are usually one of the best teams as uh, they usually get a lot of year one awards, which carry in big time for uh, the future of the franchise. So here we are going to use some of our XP. Take a look at it, obviously. Takes a long time to upgrade these players. So 
I will just uh, kind of show you the results of the upgrading or you know I mean just we would just won't do that at all <laughs> uh, here we are going against the Falcons they're an 83 we are an 81 speaking of Falcons please Packers win this game against the Falcons this Sunday just that's all I ask don't pull an us first quarter down 14 to nothing just, just 17 to nothing. just don't do an us here you know it's just it's oh, three points well, what do you know that's crazy right before half 24 to 3 there is almost no chance of coming back here. And we do get three points. What do you know? We're going to chance to make the comeback. Start of the fourth quarter down 27 to 6. The Falcons are unstoppable, especially with our crap defense. 30 to 6. Is it going to get worse? It looks like it might. And it is 37 to 6. Are they going to make it even worse? They don't. But 37 to 6 is almost as bad as it can get, really, especially in the playoffs. That is rough. That is terrible. Um, absolutely destroyed. Jameis Winston did not perform well. Um, overall, our running game wasn't too terrible, but uh, just didn't get enough touchdowns, as you could see in, well, just finishing drives in general. Touchdowns are one thing, but getting close, you know, six points is not a lot of points when they had 37. That's a lot of opportunities, and you can only put up six? It's pretty ridiculous. First year, though, let's take a look at our team overall. 87 offense, 83 defense, averaging out in an 81 overall, which isn't great. Super Bowl, year one, real life potentially here. Packers versus the Patriots. I almost said Seahawks, and the Patriots do win. Matt Parrott has a card, or keep saying card, a player that uh, did not show up on the first re-signing. So thank God we took a look at that instead of ignoring it. Like I said, pretty much going to let all these guys go. Kayshawn uh, Jarrett was not on that list, so... He will get the re-sign here most likely, and he does. Don't think there's anyone else on this list, however. Took a quick look at Adam Humphreys. No chance, pal. Nick Perry in there, a little bit of an interesting name. He's got quick development trade. He's actually really solid. I thought about him for a moment, but 8.5 mil cap hit? Yeah, you know, no thank you, pal. Here, we're just going to look for someone to get. I believe we go for Terrence Williams, as you can see right there. Um, the offer was really low. Someone offered like a 70 point. So we put a 73 in and boom. We, okay, boom. There we go. We got him. And we also got Malcolm Smith and John Bostick for a cheap price, which is very nice. I don't know. I think we actually sign a bunch of free agents. At least we offer on some. I don't know if we get them all. But low ball is my game. That's what I try to do in the free agency is low ball a bunch of backups that could potentially play starter. DJ Hayden is a great player to switch over to safety. So for you guys that play franchise for fun or just rebuilding in general, he's like a 72 at corner and like a 79 plus at strong safety, free safety. So that's, you know, that's knowledge. I know he's slow development trade, but hey, it's better than nothing. And we signed a bunch of guys and most of those, if not all of them, are very cheap. So we are entering the draft. What is our pick? Number three, number six, and we don't know the rest. We don't think we have anyone high except for number two to the Panthers. And sadly, throughout this rebuild, I actually forget to check that card. So we never know. If you guys really want to see what his stats are, I'll let you know them. Um, let me know in the comment section if you want to know what his stats are. I could just, you know, check them out later in the day. Saints trade down from three. So we trade down from three to, I don't even know what pick. I think nine. Yeah, nine. No, eight, actually. Eight. Trade down again for the Browns pick for next year. We're actually coming up on the live portion of this, so... Hopefully you guys enjoyed that and, you know, get to the the real me, I guess, kind of. So we're back with an actual live com of this, and um, I'm debating on who we take. This guy's supposed to go mid. I'm liking him a lot, though. What do we got? Normal. I should have expected a 6'6 guy that's 23 years old, so beastly of stats. Um, a little light, but we're looking to put either him or Mike Evans at tight end. Whoever is better there, to be honest, is going to be the choice. Mid first, we're going to take him right now. Slow development trade. Come on, EA. Like, just screwing us over here. What is the, um, I believe we have another guy. There he is, 24. He's a late first. I don't think we're going to be able to get him. The Redskins could really use him in a linebacker, too. I think we're just going to trade up with the Redskins if we can, which I think we can. Um, is this the guy? Late first round, 24 years old. He's got to have superstar, 100%. This is some bullshit. We drafted absolute busts. So there is one more guy we have. 
So I'm just going to try to find someone in the sixth round, which is roughly, what, 180th pick-ish, which he is. Is this the guy? It is the guy. Quick development trait. Normal. I mean, he's still a steal. Holy shit, he's fast. 96 speed. He is still a steal in the end of the day, especially if you were to use her that card. Um, the card. I keep calling him card. It's rough, though. What is our draft picks? Please be something decent. One. Okay, so we have two first rounds and two second rounds. We can rock with that for sure. But you know I need to work my magic to try to turn this into a uh, potential decent roster. Oh, please don't tell me I did what I did. I had the first round draft pick on, and then it went away. So I was like, ah, let's just try a, for a second round this year and a next year second round for this pick. And it went, but I kind of feel like we overtraded by a lot. I just hope it didn't do what I think it did, which it did, 100%. Yep, so we basically traded... A first, second, and a second next year for a first round. So this is what the roster is looking like. Um, Irvin or Rodgers? I think we'll just have Jaquiz Rodgers at backup. He's got really good carrying and all that. Uh, Pitts obviously needs to be the starter. Um, Levante David and Quan. Quan actually upgraded quite a bit. And we got DJ Hayden from free agency. I figured he would go to a 79, but he actually went to an 80, which is very nice. McCorders is in there. What a name. Um, the defensive line is looking very horrendous, not going to lie. We also need to grab one more defensive tackle. But other than that, we're ready to go. I mean, I would assume another playoff season, but, man, we we really need to get... Like, that's what the rebuilds have been really solid for lately, is we've been nailing some amazing drafts, and that's just not the case in this one. We had two slows and a normal. Look at this. Superstar! That's got to be a mistake. This is a joke. Superstar development trait, rookie, 24 years old, Quadarius Smart. 78 block shot. I mean, he's not the greatest player in the world, but Superstar development trait is ridiculous. So you can see that we threw three picks in a 52 to 7 loss to the Falcons. I don't know if the Falcons are just gods or if we're just shit, but that is not a great start to the season at all. Oh, and two, we lost to the Bears. This might very well be the biggest fail rebuild we've ever had. Huge contract for Kirksey. Jesus Christ. Who gave him that deal? The Browns gave him a five-year, $34 million deal. Where's the rookies? No rookie draft. I don't know if they updated or something because, to be fair, that was a little cheese being able to see an automatic, what appeared to be a superstar player. This is a joke and a half. Let's see who we have to re-sign, by the way. Khalil Mack, of course, a guy, which is really hard for us to re-sign. Some really big names here. Not the biggest names we've ever had, but, I mean, some decent names. Obviously, we have a lot of money. We already saw that coming. Uh, that's a good offer. Glad we got it done. Simply as, Mike Evans, let's try to get all these. I want to get all these deals done by mid-season point, so we'll get to that point. Uh, Buccaneers have offered a crazy deal to Khalil Mack, which is actually very low ball in considering consideration of what he's going to get in real life. So let's sign Mike Evans. Hopefully he accepts. Kind of, we might have cheated the game a little bit because we gave Mike Evans like top tier tight end money instead of wide receiver money. Maybe, maybe not actually. Devontae Adams actually seems kind of close and he's nowhere near as beasty. Devontae Adams always goes to free agency. Exactly what I was hoping for. So not today, pal. You ain't going to free agency this time. So I don't know if we're going to make it or not. 0-2 getting destroyed by the Falcons and Bears is not a good sign. Uh, our first year, we got to this playoffs, but it i mean, it looked like a fluke year. I mean, yeah, we didn't even make it to the playoffs. 5-11, and man. Le'Veon Bell wins the MVP award. This is, this isn't looking good. Like, I'm... And I'm kind of willing to give up early on this rebuild because I just didn't feel it from the start. And I really wanted to see this game, by the way, because I guess Winston just sucked. I think it comes with the fact that with the Buccaneers, you're kind of getting guys that you're forced to stick with. You're forced to stick with Winston. You're forced to stick with Doug Martin. And, you know, that's an issue. So, you know, if they're not performing top tier... You're in a bit of trouble, so let's see what uh, kind of gameplay we got from these guys. I know we're not surrounding Winston with the greatest of talent, but he still has enough to get it done, in my opinion. Devontae Adams gets a great... Wow. Just absolutely terrible, other than uh, Devontae Adams. Even he didn't have a great year. And we have a really good O-line, I think. Um, Pitts did all right. What about picks in general? McCorders actually did well. Uh, hopefully one of those guys won the rookie of the year. No sacks at all. Overall, I don't know what's going on with this team. 
we are just not playing well as a group at all. I, I don't know what's going on. I think personally, as the years go on, we're getting better, but apparently that's not true. 30, 23rd in offense, defense, however, what do we have? A 16th. I don't know if we're going to be able to turn this one around. I really don't. Um, so NFL, who won it? We know it was him. Aaron Rodgers was closed. Closed? I meant to say close. NFC. Offensive Rookie of the Year, and we were second. Defensive Rookie of the Year, first for Pitts. So at least we got a single award. As I mean, finally we got something, and that appears to be it. That is absolutely it. The Falcons have just been on a tear, though. Man, this is rough. It's the worst rebuild we've had in ages. I wanted to do Purple Swordfish so well here. Take that how you will. And uh, I just shit the bed. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I think we haven't built the greatest roster, but at the same time, I don't know how we're not making the playoffs. I could see this as being a decent decision. Like, we could probably get him for about 70. He's 31. He's a little on the older side, let's be honest. In real life, there's no way they would do this. But in game, I'm not really liking the performance out of Doug Martin, to be fair. Except to Jamal Charles. So I'm willing to get rid of Doug Martin. Look at the regression. It is impossible. It is impossible to rebuild this team if they're going to regress so hard after one decently bad season. I think that's the move. That was easy as hell. I don't know. I'm not trying to like end it before it's over, but this definitely is starting to smell like a uh, a failed rebuild. So number one overall pick, we are going to take that lineman or linebacker, Kobe Coates. Please be superstar, and he is normal, of course. Just the trend of this rebuild. I think, honestly, it's not us rebuild, um, drafting poorly. I just think the drafts have been bad. I think that's it. Because that guy looks so good, and yet he's a bust. Basically a bust. Normal development trade at this point. I really need to land a solid player. And that's not going to happen there. Lawrence Whittington. Another normal guy. So good. I mean, his speed's a little low, but he's 6'2". So good. Another normal guy. We haven't even taken a playoff win. This might be a playoff winless rebuild. Because we're not going to be able to afford half this. Winston can only afford this year, basically. We'll just let it go to next. Uh, you know, we're just going to make our trades, make whatever we need to do to quote-unquote make a solid roster. Ooh, a noon one. Here we get a Nunwa and a fourth round for Conklin, making our uh, offensive line quote unquote complete because EA is just hating hard today. So here we trade Demar Dotson, Jarrett, and a sixth round next year for the Saints first round pick this year. So after using all that XP, I feel like we're a little bit better. I mean, it seems like we're a little bit better. Um, Paradis, Gronk, obviously, huge jump. Winston goes on an 87. Uh, the linebacker core is about averaging 83-age. DJ Hayden's an 81 now. Cornerback Ramsey's an 89. Whittington. Coates is a 79 at right end, which is a little bit of an upgrade from his right out spot, I believe. Well, actually, technically, we're in a 4-3, so you wouldn't see that. Danny Shelton's an 83. I believe he should start since he is technically better. Quan Alexander would be an 85 at left end. Man, he is a thug. Um, but I believe that's the team. Hopefully, we can sneak into the playoffs this year. Um, we are going to see if there's any rookies first. I believe we're going to do this season, and then if it's disappointment, I'm just going to sim all the way till the next playoffs, and then it could just be a no playoff win video. That's just the way it is. This is bad, actually. I didn't even. I got excited, but then I forgot we have to re sign these fucking. Oh, that's bad. That's so bad. We can't afford him. Like, who goes? Oh, we got a bye week. 11 and 5, thank you. I'm going to show you we did not cheat. Let's take a look at the team. We have 4,600 XP, which we can use. Win, loss, win, loss. Regular season, dominance, dominance. So how many games is that in a row? Eight, four, no, seven in a row. Lost, and we whooped. Whooped again. Barely lost. All right. Barely lost. Barely lost. Won. Barely lost. So, I mean, first glance, it looked all right. Who won MVP, though? Another year for Le'Veon Bell. What a beast. Hopefully, whenever we do the Steelers, they he does that for us as well. Winston with a great year. Jamal Charles absolutely obliterating the league. Um, like, lack of fumbles and everything. 
Tight ends just don't get a lot of catches. I don't know if any of you guys noticed that. O-line played very well this year, which is a big help. Uh, Sacks, Khalil Mack, nothing spectacular from the D-line at all. Picks, though. Josh Norman went off. Levante David did well. Um, all right overall as a team. Kiki and Aguayo has been very shaky. I'm not going to lie. Kick return, punt return, touchdowns. I was really hoping this Horn guy would do well. He's got the potential. Fifth in offensive yards. Finally. Defensive, what are we, about top 15? Number three. This is our year. This rebuild honestly had no hope. I had no hope for this rebuild. I still kind of don't feel well about it, but hey, did we get any awards? Offensive Rookie of the Year. Did we have one? I don't think we did. Defensive Rookie of the Year, we did. Two guys both barely missing. That's the big difference between us doing well in this league as well is just missing these awards. That is so brutal. It's tough to play in the NFC. There's like the Dallas Cowboys are deadly. Like they take every award. But you can see our guys went up quite a bit, um, which is nice. Let's just go one week, see what's going on. Uh, we had all about the, all the XP sliders from start to now at around 150 each. 150, 160 kind of teetering based off of what I believe is necessary. And I kind of built it off of simming five to ten years in the future to see what the league needed. And that's how I figured out my sliders. Everyone is different, but that's the way I looked at it. So I have no idea what our overall is. We just got done upgrading most of the players, and we're looking really good. 88 overall, Jamal. Um, I'm liking the development a little bit. I mean, it could be better, but at the same time, our O-line's really solid. That's the start. Linebacker's getting really good. Um, Hargrave's up to an 87 at free safety. That's awesome. He's like He never gets up at cornerback, so I figured I'd give him a try. Coates is an 83, which is awesome. Um, DJ Hayden is just like he's a special guy to get. Our punter is an 87. That is so weird. Um, and he's like basically a rookie. It was like his second year in the league. I, no, this is his first year finished. 88 overall. So we're doing a lot better than I thought. This might actually be the year. And touchdown by who? The Hodges, the youngster. So let's quickly go through this as it appears to be a win. Um, they got a touchdown here though. Let's slow it down a little bit again. Just because you never know. As we, like I said, you never... Oh. It did count as a first down, actually. So here you got to make the field goal. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. The time ran out. I did not notice that. 16 and 0, something, something. What are the, were the Redskins 16 and 0? No, we were at home. It's, I don't know what the hell that sign meant. Uh, Jameis Winston. Let's take a look at the stats real quick. Both through a pick. Jamal Charles didn't really perform well. He fumbled twice. Jesus, nothing can go our way, man. Our team is just so bad. Interception. So Pierce Pitts did well. Wow, Mac William Golson used to be on our team. Coates did well. And I just want next rebuild. Like, not that this rebuild's over, and I mean, there's still a chance that this could be a decent one. But I just want next rebuild for us to have a really good couple of drafts. This is the worst drafting we've ever had. 91 to 91. Here is a battle. And by battle, I mean they're going to score on us all the time, and we're going to get stopped a lot. Yeah, they're going to just walk right in on us. Like I said, our defense is always very bad. Look at this, man. It's over. We lost. Apparently, our number third ranked defense can't stop Dallas. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. And we're going to lose the game. So, like I said, if I'm angry, I'm going to sim all the way to the playoffs next year. Uh, see whatever team we have. I don't care. I don't care what the stats are. Jameis Winston is a fucking scrub. Yeah, I said it. Is he, like, speaking of it, like... Not trying to hate, but is he really decent in real life? Because he's got a, you know, quite a bit of decent talent around him. I would assume he should be doing well. I mean, look at, I mean, look at the team overall. Uh, of course. So let's take a look. I don't understand how the Patriots are in it. I really think they just automatically assume every like. Look at this. Jimmy Garoppolo outperforms fucking Winston by like almost double. Patriots have no talent. We took Gronk off them, for God's sakes. But either way, going all the way to the next year, next season. I wonder who we're even going to have. We're probably not going to have Winston. So let's see what we got. We had to get rid of our right guard. Fair enough. You know, that's probably the most realistic option. You had to keep the quarterback. Jamal Charles is regressing hard. We lost our left out. We drafted some new. We lost Danny Shelton as well. I don't know what we drafted. We do, did we get a middle linebacker? We got some sort of middle linebacker, which I'm going to put him at left out because that's obviously the most ideal thing for us to do. How well? How did he? How good is he? 
It's going to be sad when the EA drafts the best player for us. Quick development, Dre. Basically, the one of the best draft picks we've had, <laughs> which is ironic because, uh, you know, didn't do too well on our own. So we lost a bit, but at the same time, we're still kind of there. Could make the playoffs. We should, honestly. You know, Jameis is still there. Team did regress quite a bit, but overall, I think we're good enough to make the playoffs. If not, oh well, suck a dick, I guess. Somehow, we go 11-5 and five with a much worse roster. I don't understand EA's logic at all, but hey, I mean, I guess we made it. Woohoo! Yeah. Wow, look at the division, though. Jesus Christ. Let's take a look, Jameis Winston. That's rough. Um, Jamal did... Actually, pretty decent considering he's regressed hard. Offensive line, terrible, honestly, considering how good they're supposed to be. Khalil Mack with, once again, way less talent. Gets 24 sacks. Interesting. Breaks the record. Good job, you. You know, underachieving for what appeared to be most likely our best years. Horn finally gets a touchdown. I don't know. EA just, they're just fucking haters. 16th offense. Defense, what do we get? eighth you know we've been losing every playoff game watching the game so well i mean not every game but just about so i'm just gonna sim one and if we do win it oh look at that we finally get an award if we do win it i'm going to just go in and watch them and i guess but khalil mac finally wins some big awards i'm gonna auto sim that honestly i just can't be bothered with this, this is the longest rebuild i've had in a while and it's the least successful so if we lose the 8, 7, and 1 Packers, then you know Sim is fucked. Oh, we actually... Nah, I'm not watching that. The best chance we have is just a straight up Sim. We got fucking raped last... Yeah, we got raped again. If it's a close game, I'm going to regret Simming a bit. But if it was a blowout, then I don't give a shit. Tampa Bay. So it was kind of a close game, I guess. At the end of the day, Winston still shit the bed as per usual. I really don't know what happened with this team. I don't know where it went wrong at all. I felt we did well. I did. I, I don't know. I thought we built a decent team. I let uh I let Alex down. I feel I feel sad now. Anyways, I mean, if you like the video, you're probably crazy. But hey, um, if we get like uh, I don't know, if we get like 300 likes, I'll post two rebuilds next week. So, you know, if we have 300 likes by, let's say, Wednesday next week, I will post two on that week. So, you know, that's something to look forward to, I guess, because we're going to be building a lot better of a team. I don't know how it went so wrong. I don't know what the move is because I went straight in on it and I was like, let's get some good corners. That's the move. We had three pretty solid corners and it just wasn't enough. Offensively, we had enough firepower, I think. Devontae Adams and Mike Evans. That's good enough, I think. Um, and then a really decent O-line. I, I just guess Winston didn't play well. I don't I don't know. I don't know what happened at all. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, which tomorrow there's going to be a ton, at least two, maybe three. We'll see. See ya!